Once again, it's on. <laughs> oh. Welcome, good people. Don't forget to hit the like button coming through the door. Don't forget to hit the like button coming through the door. Let people know you're not bots. This is what you wanted? This is what you've been waiting for? <laughs> Y'all been waiting for me to go in on this Nicki Minaj, Meek Mill, <laughs> whole extravaganza you've been seeing today? Right? Is Meek Mill the jealous ex-boyfriend? Or is Nicki Minaj doing what she's usually doing? Being jealous. She no longer can control her ex. But one thing is for certain. One thing is for certain. They have the whole internet buzzing. And because... They got the whole internet buzzing. Because they have the whole internet buzzing. They are on top. Now, both of them are about to drop albums. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I don't have to love this new marketing team. By Nicki Minaj, man. I swear, they got things cracking. I mean, I don't know how much was this the team or how much of this was Nicki. Well, my goodness. She's really engaging in this and going in this direction. It's not a good look. Because, see, Meek is not in that energy mode right now. So if they do this right, they could spin it out to make them look like the victim. Come out with something, but you don't, she needs to just come out and focus on the music. But I like the direction. You can see a Meek Mill diss song in the works, and it will trend. But this might spin her right back into the same cycle she had a hard time escaping. Which got her in trouble in the first place. If you know what I mean. Now, a whole lot of stuff went down today between the two for reasons many of us don't know. Right? I'm here to tell you why this is happening. This is happening because Meek Mill was supposed to go away. And supposed to need her. But that wasn't the fact. That wasn't the case. And she's checking up on his social media. And other people are sending her tweets he's putting out. And she thought, this guy might be sending shots my way. And she was the, the big star. And Meek was the guy under her. She was the one that was close with Jay. Now it's like Jay and the rest of these people don't want to be around her. You know, the people who used to deal with her kind of like shunned her and pushed her to the side. So a lot of these things have transpired and Nikki like won her spot back. And like, how did Meek get put back up there? You know, like, she's still, like, blown away by this. So, but Meek ain't doing nothing. He ain't bothering nobody that I've seen. So when he mentioned it on the album, you know, that's when she got hot, when they were supposedly in a good space. And while she was down, he basically took a shot at her and her man. And that set everything off. Now Mick Mill got movies coming out. The Charm City Kings. That's going to be hot. And 
and was like, I'm in a different world right now. You know, I don't got no time for this nonsense. So, in came all these pictures. Nikki's posting pictures on the ground. And talking about clown, clown, clown. And then she put up, I mean, Meek had said, I lost a lot of Negroes and I lost, you know, I know lost themselves to drug addiction, money, and women chasing success. I always kept myself first over all that BS, you know. Even if I ever slipped, I still kept my reputation first. And for some reason, that gave her a, you know, a certain point of view. You know, and that was it. And that started a whole thing. You want me to crash into your man and all that, but nope, I ain't going to do it. You know, a lot of people know that some of us, a lot of people know that who you are in this business, and that's why nobody deal with you. Because she kept putting up the pictures talking about you a clown and all of this stuff and then she went to talk about, yeah, yeah, you beat women, you beat you beat up your own sister, spit on her, recorded and taped her. Then you kicked me in front of your mom's, at your mom's house, you kicked me. And she was like, yeah, you know, talk about that. Now she was like, now you've been sucking on Drake, you know what, and trying to act tough. Then me comes back with his, the only way you can kill my career is to try to say I beat women. Talk about your brother who got convicted of eight. And you know, I, you've been, you know, and it's been paid for, you pay for his lawyer and stuff. Your little brother touched that little girl too. You know it, I know it. No, it's a, you know I know. You want me to crash with your boyfriend, and I won't. You sad. You willing to crash your man because you losing now and everybody in the industry know you're a bad person. You been new. Your brother was touching that little girl. That's why I got away from you. So now Meek Mill put all of this up. And when he put all of that information up, All on his page. And he did it to save, you know, or basically make a stance. And that was his oh my God moment. Nikki was a little bit more to the point when she was like talking about, you know, her family's cases and all that stuff. She wasn't about that. She wasn't about having that. So, things got elevated a little bit more when she got to it. But she put up a lot of photographs of Meek with the clown face, him with the purse bag. All those pictures that I used to have on my thing, now she's, like, going through. Queen Petty. So... She went all the way in. All the way in. And she said, you know the girl. Um, she was like, you know the girl. Um, Uh, what do you say? You know this girl whose mom, you know, the mother of the child, tried to extort Nicki Minaj for twenty million dollars, made a tape, sent it to Nicki, and tried to extort her for twenty million. So, and she was like, "Yeah, I won't go to court and do none of this stuff if you pay the twenty million." So she's like, "You already seen that." So talk about that.
Mm-mm-mm. Now she's telling Meek to move on. This is crazy. Y'all got me up doing this? This is nuts. So this other guy gets involved and was like, yo, you was all talking in the store. You could have made a move. So they pushing Nikki. Yo, Nikki, drag him. So they went from that point on. <laughs> and let's look at the facts of the case. Because a lot of people are intrigued. And for some reason, a lot of you want to see Meek Mill go at it with her boyfriend. And, and no, they don't need to do that. Like, Jay called and told Meek on the phone, I'm here, man, why are you trending with Nikki? You need to get out of that right now. Like, why would you even get involved? I told you, that's not, nothing good's going to come out of it. She's still in that negative zone. You're in a whole different space. You don't need that. What's going to good going to come out of it? You want to roll around with a guy whose net worth is 20000 What does that even make sense at? You're going to be in the streets. You're worth millions. And you want to go to war with a guy who carries a bag? You got nothing to lose. You got everything to lose. Think about your kids. So, now we gonna see what it is on musically. If they keep it on the music tip, okay. If not, then whatever. But the picture they put up of, of what's his name, her boyfriend in the in the store that Meek posted, whoever did that, that was funny. But no, normally this guy isn't known for playing. <laughs> so I would be very careful if I was y'all messing with Mr. Petty. You never know how he feeling that day. So who can't, you know, I'm seeing one group of people saying it's Meek's fault. Meek can't let her go. He's salty. And other people's like, this is t classic Nikki. What man she dated that she haven't lashed out at? This is what Nikki does. This is how she wants. She wants her man, new man, to clash with her old man because she loved drama. She's one of those bad energy girls. <laughs> I'm telling you, Meek was probably on the phone with Jay like, man, Jay, I didn't even do nothing, man. I was just chilling, man. I was in the crib, man, just chilling, man. Man, I'm on business. I was just talking about making moves, man, with my girl, man. She's pregnant, man. And I'm just sitting here, man. We was chilling, man. And now I'm, I'm trending because, you know, she's sending these pictures, man, and emojis and stuff, man. And my fans, they all trolling me, man, with these laughing emojis and and this Pennywise stuff, man, and this clown stuff. Man, you know, so I just started telling people what it was, man, what it really was. You know, it's, I ain't I ain't really going in. I'm, yeah, but it's just like you don't you don't need that. She's trying to draw you in, you know, this is what she do. You know, she got an album coming out, man, it's promotion. Now you're giving her free marketing. You see, you opening up a lane. So all you need to do is fall back. You shouldn't have said what all you said today. I, I wish I could have, you know, had a conversation with you before. But don't worry, I, I'm going to clean it up. I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm going to step back. I'm in a more di di different place. 
right? Like I told you up in the store, just walk away. Just walk away. That's all you got to do. Because she's right now probably waiting by the phone for you to post something. Yeah, because that's why I'm on the other end. Damn, that's right. What do you say? <laughs> ah. See? No. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. You play with the queen. That's right. Uh-huh, I see it right here. Yep, there it is. No, he didn't say nothing yet. See, he's scared. Yeah, he ain't talking about, you want to clash. You want to clash with me? Huh? Oh, I'm Chongli. First I want King Kong. Yes, I'm King Kong. No, now I'm Chongli. Yes, I dropped a benzo. I dropped a benzo because I'm Chongli. <laughs> so she ready to go. I don't know why he even stalking me. He was the one that started, boo. Man, if I see him, I'm gonna knock his head off his shoulder. Then I'm gonna put it back on. <laughs> oh, no, you you so cute. <laughs> don't worry. When we see him again in the mall, next time you just knock him out. Okay? Can you do that for me? Can you do that for your queen? Do anything for you. <laughs> Where's he at? I knock his head off right now. And I got a needle and thread, and I sew it right back on. Make a pinata out of him. Keep playing with me, making my queen unhappy. Oh, get my get my bath ready. Okay. How do you, how you want the water? You want it like light, light warm. Well, I can do like lukewarm, I can do... Oh, it was too cold the last time you did it, boo. All right, I'm gonna make it a little, give it a little bit more steam. All right, I'll be right back, baby. <laughs> so, right after this, that's when everything transpires differently. <laughs> yep, uh-oh, don't want that. Everything gonna transpire a little different. Now, what do I know about this situation that many people don't know? Uh, Meek Mill don't like her new boyfriend. Nikki feels that all of this is her when she was being quiet and staying back because she was dealing with all this stuff she was dealing with. She had been, Meek had been tweeting and, you know, basically just tweeting and talking about her man for about a year straight. Now, you guys would probably know more than me because I don't really stalk Meek's page like that. So y'all could tell me if that's been the case. But what she's saying is that he's been tweeting her man for about a year now. Talking about he went to my page to see him, but he was blocked. And then she's like, move on. She's like, I know you embarrassed. She's like, you almost asked on yourself in the store when you got press. And that's what got Meek hot. <laughs> that's what got him hot. She's trying to engage him back into the battle. Nikki loves this back and forth. She loves drama. There's no, no in and for butts about it. She loves drama. So when you have somebody that loves drama and they always around causing trouble, this is the results. This is the results. But man, that Meek Mill, this record, if he's ever allowed to make it, if Jay ever allowed him to make it, you know, 
Now he's taking the Jay Z approach to it. Man, you see Jeff Bezos, man, he's making like a billion dollars a day, man. That's what my focus is at, man. And we over here, you know, talking about this beef stuff. It's like you the ones talk, you the ones starting the beef. <laughs> you the one dissing this one bit. It ain't like somebody just pulling it out the blue. We were more than happy with the news we had already. <laughs> We were full, and you don't want to bring it out the chocolate cake. Everybody like, man, we can't even eat no more. I swear, I can't do. I can't eat no more. Is that chocolate cake? Yeah, man, with strawberries on it and everything, man. Here you go, serve it right up. Man, everybody know about this person, man. She's bad. I mean, look at what she did, man, before me. Man, I, man, I was crashing with other boyfriend, man. I was crashing with Safari, man. You know what I'm saying? About to put myself in jail, taking penitentiary chances. All because she, you know what I'm saying? She don't like this dude, man. He moved on, and she saw you. And now me and him, we ain't got no problems, nothing like that. And now I understand it wasn't even him, it was her. And she's sorry about that. So I don't know. Had she been he been texting about her man the whole time? I don't know. But if you meet, <laughs> I mean his girl was pregnant, I know she was like, um, we got a baby over here finna come and you tweeting back and forth with your ex. <laughs> Where does that make sense, boo? Man, I know, right? It's kind of crazy. I'm going to tweet that right now. Look. Uh, my girl pregnant, man. We just sitting here, man. This don't make no sense, man. It's going back and forth over this nonsense, man. I'm over here going back and forth with my ex, man. It's crazy. <laughs> so, that's it. So far, that's where the, this, whatever this is, is at. It was quite entertaining for the day, but hopefully it just ends, though. They don't really need to continue this. They really don't. Nothing good is going to come out of it. You know what's going to happen? Somebody innocent is going to get hurt. You know, it was good jargon to read on Twitter, but, you know, this is where it needs to stop. Everybody's saying move on. Hopefully, people know what move on means. Only people are like, yo, man, let's just move on. That never happens. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. And next thing you know, it just keeps going and going and going for no reason. And on that note, don't forget to hit the cash app up. Donate to the Cash App. Carcino's the name. Uh, on the Patreon, we will get probably a little bit more X-rated into this. <laughs> so, yeah. We got a lot to cover over there. Man. That tastes like popcorn from yesterday. I said no butter. I'm out.